Hi everyone, uh, in this video we are going to talk about how you can install a Lime Survey on a local server. So just to uh, remind you that Lime Survey is a software in order to uh, create some uh, qualitative uh, data analysis. Um, it's a free software, so the license allows you to do uh, many things. And as it's a software, that's something that you need to download and install on a web server. As uh, you may not want to use the cloud of Lime Survey for personal reason, or as you just want to play with Lime Survey without uh, purchasing any um, cloud web server, uh, well, you can install it on your local server. It's no big deal. Uh, it's not that difficult as far as you know how to install other software such as WordPress, Matomo, or any other free software which are uh, PHP, MySQL, because the DNA of Lime Survey is PHP MySQL. Okay, uh, so first thing that you need to know is that the TOS software needs to be downloaded on community.limesurvey.org at the time of this video. Here is the link that we have uh, an interest in. So this is a zip package. So just go over here, you just uh, click on uh, save the link, uh, uh, save the link, and then uh, you go on your server. So here I'm on my server. I'm going to do like a sudo wget and then I can download the uh, software. So now the software is uh, downloaded. So now I need to unzip it. So I do unzip and then that's uh, Lime software. So um, what's going to happen when it's unzipped is that I get all my installation files which are listed over here on my uh, local server. As you can see, I get admin, application, composer, and so on and so forth. So exactly like a Matomo or a WordPress, you will get your installation files which are over here. Next, uh, what you need to do is that you just need to go over here, just need to tap localhost and then uh, Lime Survey, and uh, you get this page. What this page is telling you is, okay, um, Lime Survey has no rights yet. You need to give the rights uh, to your web server on which uh, Lime Survey has been, uh, um, on which the file have been deployed on, and you need to give the permission to your server to be able to deploy those installation files. This is what they're saying you uh, over here by this error message, which is not very, let's say, uh, informative. So uh, what they wanted to say is this, you need to perform sudo change owner, then uh, give the user rights over here, the possibility to write on uh, the folder of your server. So you go over here and you just perform, uh, you just perform, I think this part should be okay. Just gonna double check, yeah, that would be better. So you just go like this and that should be fine. Uh, so here you gave the permission to your server to write. So if you go over here and you refresh the page, you will get this page saying that, okay, now the web server has the authorization. Okay, language selection, then you can click on start the installation. This is the license under the GPL license. Uh, you click here on accept. Here's the check. So it's what is required in order for Lime Survey to run. This is uh, your current server installation. So to say here, everything is okay. And dealing with the optional module, it means that here I'm lacking something. So if I would like to fix this part out, I will need to see on my server, how can I uh, set the given extension or module, I'm a library in order to have the full um, let's say the full module. So let's say if at some point within a Lime Survey when I'm using it, I'm saying that I have some issues with something, I probably should go on um, my server and try to install IMAP library here for the sake of this tutorial. I don't mind. Okay, next they are going to ask me, okay, please um, tell me uh, with which database I should connect myself to. Um, I have not yet, so I have a MySQL server uh, database, but I don't have yet created the database in order to host the data within it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to access on my uh, server. So in order to access to my server, I do sudo mysql. Now I'm on my server. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create uh, a database. I'm going to call it Lime Survey 2 because I already have one. And uh, to this Lime Survey 2, so I'm going to give uh, the rights for the user that I have within my mysql database. So now it's, it's done. Uh, so I have my user, so my user is Ranan. My database password is this one. Uh, database name is just so it's, so it's line survey two. Okay, 
Um, so as you can see, it's pretty similar to a Mac tomorrow, to a WordPress. As far as you know how to perform one installation, uh, you should be fine for all the other ones. Uh, here they say, okay, you have a database, and then do you want to populate the database with blah, blah, blah? Yes, of course, I want to do this. So populate the database. Uh, then it's asking me for the password. Okay, you don't really care about the password over here because that's everything's local. Uh, and here you can put uh, your personal email address if you want. And that's it. Uh, so now you have your Lime survey installed locally. So here you just type in your admin, here you type your password and you are ready to go. So you can uh, start to do the tour or you can uh, So here they are telling you, okay, blah, 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 you want to have SSL, but I think it's all right. Um, and here you can already start to uh, go create your first survey and start to play with uh, Lime survey. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.